Womanizer, 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 womanizer. Boy, don't try to front and I know just said what you are. Ha ha ha. Boy, don't try to front and I know just said what you are. Ooh, you're a womanizer. Ooh, you're a womanizer. Womanizer, 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 womanizer. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juice content. Thanks for your follow the account, subscribe, like, button. Today we got a little AIB video, um, but this is actually just like more of a, a podcast setting for them. Um, it's the stand-up comics from AIB. Uh, they talk about working with Shah Rukh Khan for the award shows. Um, so it's them talking about working yeah, with work, him. Working with him and like him as a person and a, a professional. Uh, got it. Talked about their experience working with him, and they used to write scripts for the award shows. Uh, to be hosted by him. Got it. Um, and so um, it's something like that. I'm sure it's going to be no different than what people say it's like to work with Tim Allen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> or Bill Murray. Probably right up there, right? Hopefully. In case you didn't know, guys, they're not. there's not good news in the circulation about those guys' work ethics on set with people. Or Chevy Chase. Yeah. <laughs> I've not worked with them, so, when, so I can't say personal, when, uh, personal experience. I wrote Life Okay Screen Awards, and there was a seg large segment that Shah Rukh was hosting. That's when I realized that Shah Rukh Khan is like the Shah Rukh Khan because he foresees like all these mishaps like way in advance. Yes. So he's like, so he, all the audience interactions we had planned, he called all of them in like the yes. uh, oh, yeah. vanity van and he briefed them about it. No, this is a, this is a separate segment in the podcast about general Shah Rukh Khan yeah. fanboying. <laughs> I thought yeah, so, but I mean, like, if Shah Rukh briefs you, then you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to hold your feet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. Shah, Shah Rukh, because he's done so many of these, he's yeah. so well aware, not just of, you know, mishaps like, oh, if this person isn't there. But he has a general, he, he has a general view of how would this be perceived by some people, these factions, yeah. what will yeah. these people yes. think. It not just comes out of, you know, just generally being very, very aware. Uh, but also I think over the years, his sense of humor has probably not done, gone down well with, you know, other people who, people who don't have a sense yeah. of humor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. That you feel like yeah. he has borne the brunt of this. That's why he's now yeah. extremely careful. Shah Rukh Khan bearing the brunt of something is not just like one guy calling him, like Shah Rukh Khan bearing the brunt is like, Mulayam Singh Yadav phone karega. Yeah. Like it's yeah. that, right? It's, it's that. that. Yeah. It's that. That's hard because he's a, he's generally a very funny guy, right? Like yes. he's, he's a hilarious very. dude and yes. he's very witty off stage. You can have yes. a conversation with him about anything and you can imagine why that would get him into trouble with in a world or, or an industry where everything is so PC, right? Everything is very like Sarji, Saabji, Yeji, Voji and he got in trouble for like very basic ass jokes. Uh, but again, with this award thing, I feel like if you wake him up and say, sir, one minute on stage, you can award show. Us karo. He can do it. Because it's so like ingrained. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Heart fill up, two, three adjectives, and it's Shah Rukh is a, he's a natural showman, right? It's not just on stage. Off stage, if you go hang out with him in his vanity van, and you say, hey, tell me something about this time, right? Then it's a 30 minute monologue which is both insightful and charming and hilarious at the same time. I want to do one of those end to end, start to finish. I want an audio commentary of Shah Rukh Khan just doing the director's commentary of Karan Arjun. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> because there have been stories, like I will, I will not share them, I will leave them for him to share, but stories that have changed my world. Like, completely. Uh, one of the first major criticisms that Sapan and I had received as writers was from Shah Rukh, right? Like, we had given a script that we had written very hastily and we gave it to him to read. And I remember we are standing near the podium and he's reading it, right? And he's reading it. He's like, ladies and gentlemen, blah, 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 blah. then he looks at us and we are smiling. And he's like, you guys know this is shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The thing is, the, we wrote the good jokes on Shadow, the monologue and all. This is where the client came and say, guys, award the naam, bolne may be creative hote. So let's not just say ki agla award hai best lyric. You have to say agla award hai wo, this may best lyric ki ho, jo gaane aap sun. I'm like, you say, kya creative kar sakte hai? <laughs> so you, 
So who was he then? Mm-hmm. He's like, you also know, this is bullshit. I said, yeah, yeah, sir, you also know. <laughs> but what to do? You were totally like, hot out, why are you doing You know, a lot of actors will read like the first two lines or the first three lines and just be like, you know what, this is not working. But he will really invest in reading the whole thing and then he'll sit you down and tell you why it doesn't work for him. So which I thought was really nice. I remember writing a ICI, there was an ICICI. Uh, awards, ICICI awards, awards. Yeah, yeah, internal yeah, yeah. awards that Shahrukh was the brand ambassador rights to come. What are you saying, I got the CD of that award and the reference to write other award shows for Shahrukh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. nice. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I was nice. involved in that. Until the moment Shahrukh gets on stage, I remember being backstage with him and discussing his... We had written some Q&A to discuss with someone, uh, you know, in, in in one of the top management people. And we're backstage and before, even till the time he's going on stage, he's still like, do you think this joke will work? And, you yeah. know, there was a work yeah. ethic of, a, of almost like a yeah. writer, cool. which I really liked. Yeah, just to add on to that, it was very cool the first time. I think it was the first time I met him for the film fair that we wrote. And the cheap thrill I got was, we were discussing a script and he comes to a joke and he says it a certain way, like he says it wrong. So I'm like, actually, you have to say it like that. And he agreed and I was like, oh! I saw yeah, 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 you can absolutely, like, we could go to him at any point and be like, hey, the timing on this is not this, it's this. And he would listen. Like it's not wow. like no, to who are you to teach me or whatever. He'd be like, I dis- I yeah, completely defer to your judgment on this. Like till that till I met him, I used to think that actors were like just like okay, fine, you know, like they wouldn't know shit about anything. They're just like actors. Very I know, very stupid. A lot of actors are. Comedy and the shows he's seen and he's yeah. spoken about like Carlin and stuff like that. And we are also like, yeah, come see we also comedy club and she will come see comedy club. No, no, I'm saying this, this Shah Rukh comedy store thing, I had a very dumb moment with him the first time I met him uh, for some uh, award show only and the producers are introducing he's a writer, he's also a stand-up comedian. So Shah Rukh got damn impressed, you know, he discussed a stand-up, he's done with all of you, right? That I've yeah, seen Khan, yeah, yeah. I've seen this, that. So I'm like, yeah, sir, I've seen it. <laughs> then he's like, so we'll write tomorrow. Uh, come, come tomorrow, we'll start working on the script. So I'm like, okay, uh, when do I come? So he's like, tubada, tubada, kitne <laughs> 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 I could say, you are Shah Rukh Khan, you tell me. But yeah. I have just started doing comedy. And my comedy is a spot, it's a half So I'm telling That's Shah Rukh Khan, ki, actually, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, show is <laughs> <laughs> I have a seven minute show in this three hour window. Yeah. Um, we had written a gag once where we were like, you know, kind of like roasting the other actors' bad movies, okay? So Sharuk was like, this is a great joke, but I kind of need to level it out and I also need to name some of my bad films. So me, mm. Azim, and Angad were sitting and he was like, just, just name some of my bad films. <laughs> I'm like, uh, Ashoka. It's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. So I went on, I'm like, Ashoka, Maya Memsa, <laughs> Ram Jani. And his manager's looking at me and she's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we done with the Shah Rukh fanboying? No, <laughs> we have not told the most important story. Uh, with the ICICI awards, like to take on what Sahil was saying, right? Like that he's a guy, guy. Yeah. The yeah. first time we met him for the ICICI awards, he came to the set like some one hour before the show. And we have just sent the script out from our end. So we're like, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. right? We're like, yeah, we're like, yeah, like he's script, right? Because he's come like oh, yeah. an hour to go for the show. He has arrived, he has gone straight into dance practice because he's got like a dance, this, that, all of that. And we're like, fuck, this guy's not going to know the script. Like this is, this is just, we're going to get, he's just going to go up there and say it, whatever he wants, okay? With some 20 minutes to go for the show, we get a call saying Shahrukh wants to see you in his room. Okay? So Shahrukh Khan comes out, okay, and there's 20 minutes to go for the show, and we're like, okay, now we're gonna have to take him through the script, all of that. Dude, I have no idea when and how, because he's come in costume, makeup, he's finished his dance practice. He sits down with us and he's like, ha, to pehle mujhe ye, 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 ye bolna hai, fir ye joke, ye joke, ye joke, fir inkar. And he knows every name, yeah, he knows every man. joke, he knows every line, he knows every cue, and we're just like, 
How? Yeah. And in the middle yeah. of all this, Tanmay is all like, oh shit, the um, Manchester City Chelsea game is on or something like that. And he's like, yeah, Tevez scored. And I'm like, oh, how do you know that also? How do you know that also? Like in the middle of all this. Like it makes no sense. That was the day I like, this man is a Jedi of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, insane. I, th- I think uh, Sherlock's story is a separate episode altogether. Yeah, you won't stop. You'll just keep going yeah, for yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm okay with making this one that episode. <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> Like, every time I feel fanboy about him, there's a part of my brain that goes like, chill, he's just he's just a human being. Like, he's just a person, right? But he's the only one who actually evokes this in it, me. I don't yes. feel that about him. Legit else. fanboying, you know? It's legit fanboying because you're like, dude, this guy is like super smart. He's super smart, super intelligent. Uh, like, he's, like, he's very charming, you know? Like, when you meet him also, you're like, oh shit, now I know why people are, you know, like fanboying over him. Yeah. And he's nice. He's incredibly really nice, nice to you. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. uh, like, he allowed us to chill in his vanity van when he was on stage. You know, actors don't do that. They're like, you know what, just get out. You're the writer. But we were chilling. We were hanging out with Honey Singh. It was kuch bhi or other than I find. We were like, this is <laughs> just an amazing yeah. journey. You yeah. know, like, what is and happening? And the thing is, if you are in Shahrukh's vanity or if you're part of his project, then all the other celebrities around you also like, oh, they treat him nicely because, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's no shock. Uh, it's 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 great when that actually turns out to be the case. Yeah, when a mega like it's not even just a a star. He's a in India alone, you cannot get bigger. Unless, you know, you could get the same level if you're Rashid Khan. Or yeah, if, Salman if or, you haven't seen there. David Letterman's time with him, it's really great because it's not only highlighting all those, those things, but Dave. Is just being himself, and he's being like most Americans. And you see on Dave's face the astonishment of what it means to be Shah Rukh Khan. Mm-hmm. And him saying, I had no idea mm-hmm. <laughs> the and he, level of superstardom that this man has. And the fact that it uh, he's just a genuinely good person, mm-hmm. and um, he takes his job seriously. Like, he could... He could easily do like a lot of stars do, come in last minute, not know his lines, wing it. Yep. I'm sure he has the charm enough and the maybe the improv skills enough to maybe even do it on his own. And no one's going to tell him otherwise. He's Shah Rukh Khan. But he wants, obviously, he, he, he wants to work on it, make it work, obviously for him, but... Um, for the for the people that wrote it, he wants to give them credit and and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the, it's quite impressive. I don't know when he learned his his script, and I don't know how much was in the script. But to have come in, do dance rehearsals, probably hair and makeup, and a thousand other things going on in his world. Um, maybe he has somebody feeding him lines. Well, it comes from he obviously has gifting to that end. But when you've done what he's done, as long as he's done yeah. it having to do multiple films simultaneously and press junkets and then product endorsements and interviews and you name it and having a production company th- this man knows how to balance a ton of stuff that if you just threw the average person in th- it would they'd be chewed up spit out the other end bloodied bruised and dizzy they wouldn't know what the hell just happened to them yeah but because this has been his life now for the better part of 35 years uh, but it it is it is gifting and there is no level of gifting about what we consistently hear, both on videos we've reacted to and people that we know that know him, yeah. that the that he's just, at the end of the day, Shah Rukh Khan is a good person. Which That's is great. all we hear. Because that, honestly, a lot of times it's not the case. No, I, I meant that when I said at the beginning, unfortunately, the reputation of the three actors we said at the very beginning is bad. There's a recent story right now from a co-star with Tim Allen, and I, I, this isn't to bash on people, but when you hear these stories over and over again, it's not... Uh, there are people in all industries who they take very much for granted what they have and they take advantage of what they have in ways that they earn a reputation. And you want to talk about – you want to know the reputation of an actor? Talk to the crew. Yeah. Because this actress was talking about how bad her experience was. Yep. And the crew member came over to her and said, you're catching them on a good day. <sighs> yeah. If the crew speaks well of you or bad of you, it's probably true. Yeah. Fuck Tim Allen. Yeah, he's just he at Chevy Chase. They, they've they've had reputation. Well, well, we don't know those men. I've never met with them. I've never worked with them. I know enough. All we've ever heard 
is is I, it's not. Yeah, I know enough about Tim Allen to good on set. Say fuck that guy. Andy's a trumper, so fuck him. Uh, <laughs> God, I lost all respect for him years ago. And but I love Shah, Shah Rukh Khan is is um. And the one thing they didn't talk about that I want to know above all things, I I want to I want to interview Shah Rukh Khan in person because I want to smell the man. So all anybody ever talks about Thank him and, and Ashwarya Rai, how good those people smell. He said I saw him on a really funny reel. <laughs> Just flipped through my Instagram. He was being he was doing a live or something on a video from home or something, a Zoom. And he he they asked him what he what he wears, and he has a combination of two perfumes that he puts together, two colognes, uh, with, with his sweat. He said, because anyone else who wears those combinations, it wouldn't be the same because they don't have my sexy sweat. In fact, my 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 sweat is so sexy that there's places that have asked to bottle it. <laughs> I I hundred percent believe that. Actually, <laughs> I have no doubt people have asked a bottle Shah Rukh Khan's sweat. You know how much money you'd make if you could do that? A lot. Oh, oh he can do that. Um, anyways, uh, that was great. Uh, let us know what other videos uh, we can react to down below. Just